Now this is the Banya. Ready now, baby, here I come. I'm beating fast like a jungle drum. This three bedroom duplex penthouse sitting at 2,626 square feet. Once you go, you just can't stop. I go all the way straight to the top. You have your own private jacuzzi. The beautiful thing is that you get full on privacy. Here I go. Have this balcony, beautiful, quiet facing. Now, this is the Banyan, a triple nine years boutique development right here. And that's only about eight minutes walk to the Canberra MRT station. We're heading in to look at the duplex penthouse, which is 2,626 square feet. Follow property numbers on this penthouse tour. Let's go. So we're going to do this home tour in two portions. I'm going to bring you around this penthouse right here at the Banyan. And uh, later on, uh, my partner Adrian is going to share with you more facts plus some of the very interesting things that are happening around the Banyan. So that there are only 18 units right here. And the rarity is that there are only two duplex penthouses. There are three bathers in nature. So for you to appreciate a duplex penthouse, we definitely have to share with you what was the involvement of penthouses in Singapore. So in the past, the first types of penthouses to evolve in Singapore were the single level kind of penthouse where you have a mixture of livable space plus roof terraces on the tail end of the layout itself and then the second type will be the duplex penthouses which is the one that we're standing right now with livable space on level one and then second level giving you a great space for entertainment and that's the roof terrace deck with its own private jacuzzi the third type will be duplex penthouses with a bedroom or perhaps two bedrooms on level two so those kind of configurations are very suitable if you want to have a separate kind of privacy factor especially if you're having multi gen living. The fourth type will be triplex penthouses but in the recent two years what we have noticed is that there is a fifth involvement of another type of penthouse which is a single story kind of layout and uh, having that high ceiling loft area perhaps at about 4.5 to 5.5 meters right on the living and dining space and perhaps also in some of the bedrooms. <laughs> As we come back to the living area, get a very nice L-shaped living space. ACs are all brand new four years back. And the beautiful thing is that you get full on privacy. Your neighbors are not going to be able to see your living room or your bedrooms. And I think this is the beauty that you get when you come to the Banyan. Dining space right now is a decent six seater. And that's being interlinked to the enclosed kitchen. Let's have a look. So now this kitchen, as you can see, right behind the kitchen window, there are no apartments behind. Now this is what we call a single loading kind of concept. Because traditionally, if you go for condo status, you're going to get to see your neighbor's kitchen right behind your kitchen. So on the left and right hand side, enough countertop space for your daily needs and cooking. And uh, this rack, pretty huge. It's uh, coming with soft closure hinges, the wardrobe. Six pull-outs right here, induction cooker, four burner system. And on top of having that home shelter as your storage space, along the walkway to the bedrooms, you also have a separate yard that you can put in your washer come dryer. We like the amount of windows that has been design right here into the floor plan because you're going to get a lot of cross vent and you have internal racking right here for you to dry your clothes if you want to do natural clothes drying <laughs> We are located along Jalan Sendudu, nestled in a quiet and serene environment just next to a huge park and also in Sambal Hills, Lander and Cliff. We are just 8 minutes walk to Canberra MRT and from Canberra MRT, there's only 3 stops that will take you up to Woodland Centre where you can change to the Thompson East Coast Line. And 5 stops down will bring you to Bishan and the Circle Line and 10 stops to Orchard Road. We are also very accessible to SLE which connects you to major expressways. Let's take a look at the floor plan. We are standing in a 3 bedroom duplex unit with a total size of 2,626 square feet. There's 3 good sized bedrooms including the living, dining space, 
kitchen with a yard and an entire roof terrace for you to host your families and friends. And owners have spent about close to 200k in renovations including the roof terrace. There's a change of configuration in this layout and our owners have converted this original layout over here which is the common bedroom and they have converted right now into uh, their living room and the original living room has been converted into one huge gigantic common bedroom. And the facing of this unit is predominantly facing south, south is facing and what this means is that you get cross ventilation throughout this whole unit throughout the year. up to level 2 first. When you buy a penthouse, the beauty is that you get a roof terrace that allows you to do a little bit of sun tanning and you also get the enjoyment of privacy in the evening. Now what we like about this place is that you are surrounded by landed enclave right in front of us. So this is the Sambaon landed enclave. It's pretty deep all the way to the other tail end. Based on our survey right here and analysis on this entire cluster, there are primary boutique developments, triple nines. The only large scale one is Salitaris right at the tail end. But if you are talking about walking distance within 500 meters to Canberra MRT, this might be the only one. And uh, as you can see, because we are now on level 6, you're also flush with the penthouses on Nautica and Canberra residences as well. What we like is that this facing is towards south-southeast direction. That project right there is Visionaire. Brownstone has not hit its MOP yet. So you're being surrounded by beautiful new apartments that I think is going to hold a benchmark price right here in Canberra. Now this is your level 2. You have your own private jacuzzi right there. In terms of what you can do at a penthouse level, let's have a look at some images. Now you can do soft coverings, awnings, you can do soft structures, wooden structures, a lot of different options for you to do what you want. And let's head down first. When you come down back to level one, you get a living room right tucked here. So this courtyard area is the courtyard that you can head up to level two. You can also utilize this, put your bicycles here because it's partially sheltered or you can increase the shelter by putting your own awning below the staircase. This is the alternative entrance towards the first common room. Now originally, the living room used to be the common room and this used to be the living room. Now what our owners wanted was that when they spent close to $200,000 to renovate this penthouse, they wanted to park all the bedrooms at one corner and have that main living room fronting towards the main view. After shifting the first bedroom here, this room is extremely huge. Just have a look at the size. You'll notice that the flooring is in great condition and you get a nice beautiful L-shaped six wardrobes tucked at the corner. You also have this balcony balcony right here, beautiful, quiet facing you. So right on for the start, the government already has earmarked Canberra to be a brand new township. So if we were to take Canberra MRT station as well as the newly set up Canberra Plaza, on the right hand side towards the eastern part of Canberra, those clusters of HDB apartments were the first clusters. And then gradually on the left hand side, which is where the Sambaon Landed Enclave is being located, condos started popping up as well as a lot of ECs started popping up over the last 10 years. The first two projects that popped up were Yishun Emirate and Yishun Safari. And then the next two projects were eight courtyards followed by one Canberra and then you have Park Canberra EC that has been fully sold, Province Residences and then recently Commodore plus Water Gardens uh, has been launched and right now in terms of per square foot, just have a look at the PSF level right now, they are all inching in the range of 1,003 to 1,005 PSF for condo status. Province is doing very well at about 1,002 to $1,300 per square foot depending on the size. Now just imagine what is going to happen in the next 5 to 10 years time when this condo reaches its SSD date by the first hand owners, reaches its TOP, the ECs reaches its MOP date in another 8 to 10 years time, the PSF level is going to hit a new benchmark range on top of what has been transacted right now. We're going to see in the next 5 to 10 years that Canberra will be doing in the range of about 1.5 all the way to perhaps $1,800 per square foot in the resale market. This apartment that we're standing right now in terms of its duplex status at 2,626 square feet is asking for $800 odd dollars per square foot at 2.2 million asking price. And what does this mean is that you're entering at a very low and decent per square foot for a triple Nia status.
bottles. Now, this is the home shelter. The walkway is being done with this very nice flush of wall paneling here. All these decals, in terms of its design, can be changed. All you need to do is just to paint over or you can change to a different kind of wall paneling style as well. This is your common bathroom. They are standing in with a rain shower, huge ventilation window right at the back as well. Bathroom has went through a gut renovation. The owners have selected long-lasting fittings and fixtures in terms of its durability. A full panel of hidden space right behind this movable tracking mirror. And then as we head towards this direction, this is the third bedroom uh, that has a hidden wall-line wardrobe, two panels at the side, a full height glass all the way from floor to ceiling. That gives you a very nice open view here. Parquet flooring with a high amount of skirting right here. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> Dibanyan is in the heart of major transformation in the northern region. With just a 3 minutes drive away from the north-south corridor, which will be expected to complete in the year 2027, and for those who drive, we are just under 20 minutes to town. Once the bound shipyard operation ceases, this site may be redeveloped into a mixed-use waterfront lifestyle pristine. And one stop away will take you to Bukit Canberra, an integrated development which includes facilities such as polyclinic, healthcare centre, hawker centre, swimming pool, and an indoor sports hall opening in the near future. We have the wood Woodlands Regional Centre, Singapore's largest economy hub in the North region that will provide over 700,000 square metres of commercial space. This could give rise to rental opportunities and growth use for homeowners. 15 minutes away from the Singapore Aerospace Hub where there's host over of 60 multinational companies and local enterprise. The Aviation Hub is close to 6,000 working professionals and this means that the rental demand and opportunities is definitely there. Another thing to note is there's an open space of plot just right beside us and once that plot of land is released for sale, it might set a new benchmark in this area. <laughs> And I'm going to bring you into the master room. So for the master room, it's facing towards the north side of the apartment. Right now, this room is being used as more like a study room. And then there are two work tables. Um, display rack is actually movable. The position to place your bed will be towards this direction. And then, of course, the water is already intact. You still have space along the window line to put in a nice dresser or a nice study table or work desk right there facing towards the view. As you can see, ensuite pretty huge in terms of its size. Uh, you get marble finishing right on its wall as well as nice darker finishing in terms of his tiles choices on the flooring very nice long bath and let's head out One of the key benefits of living in a new town like Canberra is that every apartment is being started from scratch. And of course, when the MRT station is being planted right into Canberra, there's an additional perk for the residents right here. And in terms of the HDB upgraders pool in future, I think within the new town, there are definitely more HDB upgrading families compared to older township. The key reason is because most families, they bought their apartments right on straight from HDB, from the BTO balloting exercise. So having stayed here for the past 5, 10, 15 years, it might also mean that there's a higher chance and opportunity that the existing HDB upgrading families might look on to some of the private properties around the Canberra region and that might include the Banyan because this is also one of the rare triple nine projects. For amenities wise, we are situated just right outside rows of shop houses along Jalan Malu Malu. For most, we are just an 8 minutes drive to Canberra Plaza, Sembaung Shopping Centre, Sun Plaza and North Point City. For food lovers, Chongpang Market and Food Centre is just under 7 minutes drive away from here. For people who love fitness, you can head down to Jalan Senduduk Park which is just located right beside us or you can head down to Sembaung Park. And not forgetting the famous Sembaung Hot Spring Park which is just under 3 minutes drive from here. For schools going kids, we have Sembaung Primary School and Wellington Primary School which is just under a km away. Though this is a low density development, we still have good facilities such as swimming pool, barbecue, gym and hot and cold jacuzzi. If you love this 3 bedroom duplex penthouse at Deep Banyan, sitting at 2,626 square feet, triple nine leasehold, do give our listing managers a call and do remember to like our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok channel. I'm Adrian Lim, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. In terms of the HDB upgrading, we should be completed in year 2027. Now, this is the. Hey, take over the master room, man. 
<laughs> this apartment that we're standing right now, asking price is at 2.3. Let's see, I'll check it out. Will be... Master room is facing towards the... Okay, rolling. 